Hello everybody and welcome to Workshop Studios. Today's project is right behind us here. The old garage door. And uh, it's in need of a little bit of TLC, so let me show you what we're about to do. First of all, it kind of creaks and groans when it goes up and down, even though we've got good support across here and I've tightened everything up. I think part of the issue and I've already started here, so I'll show you what I'm doing. But part of the issue is, you can see right here, there's a gap here. These panels um, are added into this. When this is constructed, you can see it's kind of like a picture frame. And these panels are cut and then slid into it and glued into place. But this garage door is probably 30 years old now. It still works, and it's uh, a little heavy because it's wood, but it's still functional. But the panels loosen up, the glue breaks, and the panels loosen up, and that means these slide around in here. And I think part of the creaking and groaning is because these need to be kind of re-attached, uh, if you might, made so that the garage door is more of one unit. So this is what we're doing for the beginning part of it is we're just going through and caulking this joint just like you would any kind of a joint. And I'm not... I don't have to be super careful. I am making it nice as I can, but um, we'll then go ahead and paint this door because it's, it's still raw wood in here and it hasn't been painted in, like I said, 30 years. So this wood needs a coat of paint badly and it'll make it look nicer in here too. So let me show you how we're doing the, uh, the caulking here. All right, everybody, let's get real. The garage door, I just don't think it's gonna be repairable. Uh, and I'm gonna show you why I think that. After all of this work I've gone to before I paint it, that's because uh, that was the idea to finally paint the inside. I'm gonna show you and let you listen to something. So hang on just a second. That's just way too noisy still. And that's after replacing the uh, guides up there with nylon guides, and that helped. That's after putting all that caulking around in the middle. If you remember that part, obviously. That's after putting that extra brace on there to try and keep it from sagging and creaking. That didn't help either. So <clears throat> I think we've reached a point to say it's time to consider a new garage door. And I'll tell you the the goods, if you want, the good, bad, and the ugly, but it's mostly just good. All right, so I may have said this already, so pardon me if I have, but the construction of this door, it's not bad. Uh, it is a wood garage door. That's, <laughs> it's all wood. Um, and there are different construction techniques nowadays. Uh, but what it is really is uh, it's, it's a raised wood system, and it's the same on the outside as the in, is you have these rails around, and you have this press board in between. So it leaves you with this raised look on it, which is great. It's very pretty, but um, a couple of things go wrong is over time, these panels start to loosen up, and they'll slide around. And I, I'll get up close and show you. But even with caulking them, trying to glue them into place and to seal them, uh, some of these have broken. The, <clears throat> the other thing that, uh, so these panels aren't holding this, this solid. The other thing to remember is because this is hinged here and here, these are long panels that, that are sideways if you want. And these long panels all have to move up when you close the garage door. And that means that all this wood bows every time it goes up and down, well, a little bit, but that means it's also going to keep breaking that up and not letting that work. And it means these panels are going to slide around in there and creak and groan. Thirdly, 
is that nowadays, and today, today is uh, July 4th. Happy July 4th, everybody. Um, that means that here where we live, it's easily in the 90s, mid 90s and humid. And the garage is uh, almost always the same temp or higher than outside because it traps the heat in here. And this door has no R value to it, no, no insulation value to it at all. It's zero, basically. Plus, up top, there's a, a big gap in there that is not sealed. So, we have gone ahead and purchased a new garage door. And I'll show you what that looks like when it gets installed. But before it does, I'll tell you that the R value on the new garage door is going to be something like R19. Now, that's, that's really good. It's not the same as a full wall, you know, when you've got that much insulation in a wall versus that much in a garage door, but it's, it's much better than this. The new install will seal the door all the way around, so it actually keeps this space in the garage as more controlled. And because this is garages on slab, which most are, <clears throat> this is going to keep us cooler because the slab is connected to the ground. That's how it works. The other thing is, is that the way the new garage doors are made, at least the ones we're going to buy, is they're steel on either side. So that it's the same construction, in fact it doesn't look very much like this one. It's a long panel, but that panel is two pieces of steel, I'll show you this way, two pieces of steel on the inside and the outside, and they've injected um, hard foam in between those two pieces of steel which glues that whole thing together so that panel is really acting as one structural unit that goes across. And I suspect that that keeps it from being too noisy as well. So, um, and then lastly, they're going to put new, uh, whole new rails and new rollers and everything. And I'm hoping that those are also going to make a difference and make it quieter. And new spring up top. You can't see it here, but there's a new spring. So the question comes, when do you fix something? And when do you replace something? That's a hard one sometimes, at least for me. Some of you out there may say, oh, I'm never going to fix that, just replace it. And, and that's, a lot of times that's the right answer. But um, for me, because I'm kind of a fix-it guy, as you can tell by the channel, coming to that conclusion sometimes can be challenging. But in this case, realizing that whatever I do to this garage door is never going to make it an insulated garage door unless I start adding all kinds of insulation and and it's going to look terrible. I know there are some other videos out there about people adding insulation to doors, and I, I appreciate their hard work, but in this case, it's best to just move on. This door is now 35 years old. It has done well. It just got painted on the outside a year and a half ago, and it still looks great. So from the outside, it looks fine, but it's not doing what it's supposed to. It's not sealed all the way around. It's making tons of noise, and it's time to put a new one in. So that's the... Um, the, the angst, the agony and the ecstasy, if you might, of, of being a handy person and doing fixing is that sometimes uh, we can be our own worst enemy and want to fix something that just needs to be replaced. So anyhow, sorry for that long discussion there. But also, the other thing that uh, we're looking at here, and this will be a separate video, is that we're changing this room, the garage, uh, and my shop, and we're going to be putting um, a, a floor coating in here. And that will make this area look so much nicer that having a good looking garage door is going to go with it. Sometimes you might find that, that you fix up one part of, an, of a room or a house, it makes the other parts not look so good, so you want to keep working on it. So we're anticipating that this, the garage is now going to be a much nicer looking space and that the new garage door will go with that. It's a good investment in the house. Um, it's a good time for us to do it. So let's... Uh, Snap our fingers and the new garage door will be being installed. Some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away to my home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away.
All right, so there it is all done. So much quieter. Yep. Very good. Beautiful. All right. I think we're going to call that D for done. And uh, that means it's time to say thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, good luck with your garage doors, whatever may, that may be. Catch you on the next video. Bye.